Hello everyone, welcome to Judicial Academy. In this video, I'm going to talk about the potential questions that can be uh, raised for objections. Now, this is an accumulation of all the questions that we have gathered from various students that these are the questions may be raised as objections. In all these questions, you might find some are correct, some are incorrect, okay? But what uh, we are doing in this in this video, basically, we are just accumulated the things and we're going to share with you people, okay? We're going to do another video tomorrow in which we're going to say the, ac um, the accurate questions that you can raise, okay? So you will be also able to find it out yourself from your peer groups, by yourself and from your teachers so that we'll have a more collaborative effort in this case, okay? So let's start the video and I'm going to share the um, question paper with you. I'm using the set A paper here, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm going to just show you the question and question number in the set A. You can find out your um, that particular question number in your set and accordingly you will uh, basically understand whether that question is correct or not. Having said that, just let me remind you, again, this all the questions have been accumulated from the student's response, okay? Uh, all the questions might not needed to be raised as objections. Some might, some are correct too. Final video, again, we're going to make tomorrow because tomorrow is your last day, 4 p.m. for uh, objections. So before, prior to that, we're going to make another video in which the uh, actual or accurate questions that you can raise as objections, we're going to mention that, okay? So let's start and we're going to share the screen here, okay? So wait a minute, I'm going to share one second. I hope you are able to see my screen right now. So I'm going to share the question number along with uh, the actual um, the passage you will be able to see so that you can understand and you can accordingly mark in your set as well. So this is set A. Just let me remind you this is set A and I'm using. So first question that you can definitely go for and check the question that has been raised by the student. That is question number six. That is in Bangalore water supply. Okay, question number six. That is one question that has been raised as um, uh, confusing, okay? The answer is confusing, okay? Uh, the second question is question number 13. That is another question in Lawn Fuller debate that is in jurisprudence. Third question is definitely 15. That is also there, okay? This question, so you can see it as per your um, uh, set, okay? All these questions might be correct too. But this is an accumulation of all the students that we have talked to, we have gathered from various resources. So we are just gathering it for you. Okay. Uh, third one uh, is definitely 25. 25 is another, as per this thing, 25, this uh, section 106 Indian Evidence Act. I'm not giving you whether it's correct or not, because we're going to make a separate video in which I'm going to mention whether it's correct or not. Okay. So I'm just mentioning the question number here. 25 okay then 27 is another one that is also raised as uh, debatable 27 then um, 29 okay 29 then 30 okay there is another question is 30 now the next question i will tell you that is definitely 38 Another question is 38. All those questions, you can pause the video and find it out by yourself in your set. 38. Another one is 38. Now, uh, next is 46. 46, this one. And 50. 46 and 50. Both are there. Now, uh, the... Now the next question that is definitely is 65, 65, this one, this question, passage number 13. Okay. It's related to uh, the case from the AMK run 
Ranjits versus Union of India. Question number 65. Okay. Now the next question is question number 66. Sorry, this is the same set that uh, the, it has been, uh, it's copied the same copy. 66, this is the one. Okay. Then the say, uh, the next question is 72. Okay, 72. This is another question that has been raised uh, as confusing. The answer is confusing. 73, also another one. 73, 72, 73. Then another one is definitely 79. You can see it. Okay, 79. Okay, then 83. Right is an interest. This one, this is another question that is there. Then 85 writes in REM, writes in re propria. So this question also are there, which is uh, quite debatable as per the students. Then 96 that is there. 96. 96, this is another question. Okay, 96, this is the question that has been uh, raised. 96, 97, hmm? then 98, 99. These are the four questions from the window thing that have been raised. Okay, then the next one is 102. Okay, 102 is there. 105, sorry, this one. 105 is there. If you see it, 105 is another portion. 105, this question is also there. 107 and 117. The last one is 117. So around 24, 25 questions have been raised confusing and debatable here in this particular topic. Uh, in this question paper it's it's not that each and every questions are um each and every question is wrong okay probably four or five definitely it is very very uh, high chance of getting it wrong but having said that uh, there are questions that are very confusing the answer is very confusing and similar um in that case there is a very rare chance CLAT is going to rectify those things because CLAT always takes the benefit of doubt in case of any kind of answers. So that we have to keep that in mind. Tomorrow I'm going to make another video in which we're going to talk about only the questions that you can raise for objections. Okay, because objections also has some money attached to it. You can't really randomly pick any questions and challenge it so this 24 questions will cost you 24000 that i uh, nobody wants you to do that okay so you also check it by yourself there might be some another question it's in your mind that i haven't discussed here you can put it in the chat box so these are the things and also you can comment in, in any of the questions that you feel it's correct answer that has been given by the CLAT. You can also mention in the chat box. That will be very, very helpful, helpful for you and other people too. Okay. Thank you. I hope this video is helpful for you. See you in the next video tomorrow regarding the detailed uh, objections. Okay. Thank you. See you again.